Alexa, tell me about the weather today. Scientists have worked for decades to figure out how natural human speech works to the point where voice activated interfaces like Amazon's Alexa, which is a natural language processing system, can work well enough for people to use them. Alexa talks to people who use Amazon's Echo products, like the Echo, Dot, and Tab, as well as Amazon Fire TV and products from other companies. Even since 2012, when the patent was filed for what would become Amazon's Alexa artificial intelligence system, there has been a lot of growth in capabilities, and machine learning is to thank for that. Conversation between humans and machines is complicated for something we do every day without giving it much thought. So, how did Amazon and other companies like Google, Apple, and Microsoft figure it out? Let's figure out how Alexa works. Last year, more than 30 million smart speakers were sold around the world. This year, that number is expected to grow to almost 60 million. Amazon still sells the smartest speakers, with about 20 million sold last year. However, other companies, especially Google, are growing and starting to catch up. There are differences between them, but let's look under the hood of an Echo to see how Alexa works. When you ask Alexa, what's the weather going to be like today, the device records your voice. Then, that recording is sent over the internet to Amazon's Alexa voice services, which breaks it down into commands Alexa can understand. Then, the system sends your device the right out. Okay, I'll remind you at 2 p.m. today. That means, of course, that Alexa won't work if you can't connect to the internet. Most of us are impressed by the skills Echo comes with out of the box, but Amazon allows and encourages approved developers to use Alexa voice services for free, so they can add new skills to the system, just like Apple did with the App Store. Because of this openness, the list of things Alexa can do, which is now over 30,000, keeps growing quickly. Users can, of course, buy things from Amazon, but they can also order pizza from Domino's, call an Uber or Lyft, control their lights, make a payment through the Capital One skill, find wine pairings for dinner, and do a lot more. Learning all the time from human data Alexa's power comes from the data it collects and how well it learns from it. As Alexa becomes more popular and collects more data, her power will only grow. Every time Alexa gets your request wrong, that information is used to make the system smarter next time. Voice-activated user interfaces are getting better and better very quickly because of machine learning. For example, Google Speech's error rate went down a lot in a year, and it now understands 19 out of every 20 words it hears. Understanding natural human speech is a huge problem, but we now have the computing power to get better at it as we use it more. The challenges of making and processing natural language is a subset of AI, natural language generation, Dutch Gilders, is the ability to get back written and spoken responses that sound natural based on data that is put into a computer system. Human language is very complicated, but computers are getting better and better at generating natural language. Dutch Gilders is like a writer who translates data into language that can be used to communicate. Natural language processing, NLP, is the reader that understands the language that natural language generation, Dutch Gilders, creates. Smart personal assistants like Alexa have become much more popular as this technology has improved. Voice-based AI is so appealing because it has the potential to help us in a way that makes sense to us as humans without having to swipe or type. That's also why it's hard to build from a technical point of view. Just think about how your typical conversation doesn't go in a straight line. When people talk, they cut themselves off, change the subject, or repeat themselves. They also use body language to add meaning and a wide range of words that can mean different things depending on the situation. It's like a parent trying to figure out what teens say, but much, much harder. Amazon still has an army of experts and a group of machines working to make Alexa and Alexa voice services even better. Their goal is to make spoken language a natural user interface, just like talking to another person. Let's see what comes next.